Question 242. You are planning to create several SQL databases in Azure. Which of the following is the correct category for the Azure SQL Database Service? Option A. Infrastructure as a Service IAAS Option B. Platform as a Service PAAS Option C. Software as a Service SAAS Option D. Function as a Service FAAS And the correct answer is Option B. Platform as a Service Explanation Azure SQL Database is a relational database as a service hosted in Azure that falls into the industry category of Platform as a Service PAAS. Next question. Select yes or no. For the following statement, Azure Storage Account always replicates the data to the secondary reason. Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option A. Yes. Explanation. As per Azure documentation, data in an Azure Storage Account is always replicated three times in the primary reason. Azure Storage offers two options for how your data is replicated in the primary reason. Locally redundant storage LRS copies your data synchronously three times within a single physical location in the primary reason. LRS is the least expensive replication option, but is not recommended for applications requiring high availability or durability. Zero redundant storage ZRS copies your data synchronously across three Azure availability zones in the primary reason. For applications requiring high availability, Microsoft recommends using ZRS in the primary reason and also replicating to a secondary reason. Next question. A company wants to make use of Azure for the deployment of various solutions. They want to prevent suspicious attacks and threats against Azure resources. What Azure service helps to prevent such attacks by using built-in sensors? Option A. Azure AD Identity Protection Option B. Microsoft Defender for Identity Option C. Azure Privileged Identity Management Option D. Azure DDoS Attacks And the correct answer is Option B. Microsoft Defender for Identity Explanation Microsoft Defender for Identity is a cloud-based security solution that leverages your on-premise Active Directory signals to identify, detect, and investigate advanced threats, compromised identities, and malicious insider action directed at your organization. Monitor and analyze user behavior and activities defended for identities proprietary sensors. Monitor organizational domain controllers, providing a comprehensive view of all user activities from every device. Defender for identity monitors and analyzes user activities and information across your network such as permissions and group membership, creating a behavioral baseline for each user. Options A and C are incorrect. They are used for protecting identities in Azure AD. Option D is incorrect. Azure DDoS is a solution to protect against DDoS attacks. Next question. A company is planning to host resources in Azure. They want to ensure that Azure complies with the rules and regulations of the reason for hosting resources. Which of the following can assist the company in obtaining compliance reports? Option A. Azure AD Option B. Microsoft Trust Center Option C. Azure Advisor Option D. Azure Security Center And the correct answer is Option B. Microsoft Trust Center Explanation the Trust Center is an important part of the Microsoft Trusted Cloud Initiative and provides support and resources for the legal and compliance community. The Trust Center provides in-depth information about security, privacy, compliance offerings, policies, features, and practices across Microsoft Cloud products. Option A is incorrect. Azure AD is used for identity management. Option C is incorrect. Azure Advisor is used to provide recommendations in Azure. Option D is incorrect. Azure Security Center is a unified infrastructure security management system in Azure. Next question. You are planning to deploy a web server and database server in your Azure account. You have to ensure that traffic restrictions are in place so that the database server can only communicate with the web server. Which of the following would help you to implement these restrictions? Option A. Azure Service Bus Option B 
लोकल नेटवर्क गेटवे ऑप्शन सी वर्चुअल प्राइवेट गेटवे ऑप्शन डी नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप एन एस जी एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप एन एस जी एक्सप्लेनेशन अ नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप इन एज योर इज द वे टू एक्टिवेट अ रूल और एक्सेस कंट्रोल लिस्ट ए सी एल विच विल अलाउ और डिनाई नेटवर्क ट्राफिक टू योर वर्चुअल मशीन इंस्टेंसिस इन अ वर्चुअल नेटवर्क एन एस जीज कैन बी एसोसिएटेड विद सबनेट्स और इंडिविजुअल वर्चुअल मशीन इंस्टेंसिस विद इन दैट सबनेट ऑप्शन ए इज इन करेक्ट अज योर सर्विस बस इज यूज एज अ मैसेजिंग सिस्टम ऑप्शन बी इज इन करेक्ट लोकल नेटवर्क गेटवे इज यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट अ वी पी एन डिवाइस इन अ साइड टू साइड वी पी एन कनेक्शन ऑप्शन सी इज इन करेक्ट वर्चुअल प्राइवेट गेटवे इज नॉर्मली यूज टू कनेक्ट नेटवर्क वाई आर द इंटरनेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ कंपनी इज प्लानिंग टू सेट अप अ सोल्यूशन इन अ जियोर द सोल्यूशन वुड हैव द फॉलोइंग की रिक्वायरमेंट प्रोवाइड अ क्लाउड सर्विस दैट मेक्स इट ईजी फास्ट एंड कॉस्ट अफेक्टिव टू एनालाइज स्ट्रीमिंग डेटा यूजिंग ओपन सोर्स फ्रेमवर्क लाइक अपाशी हार्डू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग अज योर सर्विसेज वुड मीट द क्राइटेरिया ऑप्शन ए अज योर कॉन्टेंट डिलीवरी नेटवर्क ऑप्शन बी अज योर एच डी इन साइट ऑप्शन सी अज योर लोड बैलेंसर ऑप्शन डी अज योर साइन एप्स एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी अज योर एच डी इन साइट एक्सप्लेनेशन अज योर एच डी इन साइट इज अ मैनेज फुल स्पेक्ट्रम ओपन सोर्स अनालिटिक्स सर्विस इन द क्लाउड फॉर इंटरप्राइजेज विद एच डी इन साइट यू कैन यूज ओपन सोर्स फ्रेमवर्क सच एज हार्डुप अपाशी स्पार्क अपाशी हाइव एल एल ए पी अपाशी कैफका अपाशी स्ट्रॉम आर एंड मोर इन योर अज योर इन्वायरमेंट आंसर ए इज इन करेक्ट अज योर कॉन्टेंट डिलीवरी नेटवर्क सी डी एन इज अ ग्लोबल सी डी एन सोल्यूशन फॉर डिलीवरिंग हाई बैंडविथ कॉन्टेंट आंसर सी इज इन करेक्ट अज योर लोड बैलेंसर रेफर्स टू इवेंटली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग लोड इनकमिंग नेटवर्क ट्राफिक अक्रॉस अ ग्रुप ऑफ बैक एंड रिसोर्सेज और सर्वर्स आंसर डी इज इन करेक्ट एज योर साइन एप्स इज एन एनालिटिक सर्विस दैट ब्रिंग्स टूगेदर इंटरप्राइज डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग एंड बिग डेटा एनालिटिक्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अ कंपनी नीड्स टू डिप्लॉय सेवरल आइडेंटिकल वर्चुअल मशीन्स ऑल ऑफ दीज वर्चुअल मशीन्स विल हैव द सेम सेट ऑफ परमिशंस एज वेल वेयर वुड यू डिप्लॉय एज योर वर्चुअल मशीन्स टू मिनिमाइज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव ओवर हेड ऑप्शन ए एज योर रिसोर्स ग्रुप्स ऑप्शन बी एज योर वर्चुअल मशीन स्केल सेट्स ऑप्शन सी is your policies option d as your tags and the correct answer is option a as your resource groups explanation when you deploy a resource to a resource group with a set of permissions defined the resource will inherit the permissions assigned to the resource group an example is shown below next question a company wants to host an application in azure the application connects to a database in azure The company would like to store the database password in a secure location. You recommend using the Azure Key Vault to store passwords. Would this meet the requirement? Option A, yes. Option B, no. And the correct answer is option A, yes. Explanation. Yes. This is the right tool to use. As per Azure documentation, Azure Key Vault is a cloud service for securely storing and accessing secrets. A secret is anything that you want to tightly control access to such as api keys passwords certificates or cryptographic keys key vault service supports two types of containers vaults and managed hardware security module hsm pools next question a company has a set of virtual machines defined in azure they want to find out which user shut down a particular virtual machine in the last 7 days which of the following can help with this requirement option a as your activity logs option b as your event hubs option c as your advisor option d as your service health and the correct answer is option a as your activity logs explanation the activity log is a platform login azure that provides insight into subscription level events this includes such information as to when a resource is modified or when a virtual machine is started You can view the activity log in the Azure portal or retrieve entries with PowerShell and CLI. Next question: Which Azure resource will help you to meet the below requirement? Ensure that the virtual machine administrator team can only deploy virtual machines and their dependent resources. Option A: Azure role-based access control. Option B: Azure identity protection. 
option C azure policies option D azure locks and the correct answer is option A azure role based access control explanation you can achieve this with role based access control you can deploy the administrator to one group and just provide the role for virtual machine access azure role based access control azure rbac is a system that provides fine grained access management of azure resources using azure rbac you can segregate duties within your team and grant only the amount of access to users that they need to perform their jobs option b is incorrect azure identity protection is used to protect azure ad identities option c is incorrect azure policies is used to govern the resources in azure option d is incorrect azure locks is used to protect azure resources from users accidentally updating or deleting azure resources next question which of the following tools can you use on the ubuntu machines option a the azure cli and azure portal only option b the azure cli and powershell only option c the azure portal and powershell only option d the azure cli azure powershell and azure portal and the correct answer is option d the azure cli azure powershell and azure portal explanation the azure cli and powershell are available on all platforms the azure portal can be viewed on any browser and can be viewed on almost all operating systems next question a company needs to connect its on premises data center to an azure virtual network using a site to site connection which of the following should you create as part of this implementation option a virtual network option b virtual network gateway option c application gateway option d dns and the correct answer is option b virtual network gateway explanation azure virtual network gateway serves as the cross premises gateway connecting your workloads in azure virtual network to your on premises sites it is required to connect to on premises sites through ipsec s2s vpn channels or through express route circuits next question select yes or no for the following statement azure resources can only access resources within the same resource group option a yes option b no and the correct answer is option b no explanation azure resources can access resources that are in other resource groups as well next question a company has an application hosted on a set of virtual machines when it comes to virtual machine maintenance which of the following is the responsibility of the customer option a maintaining the underlying physical servers option b security of data hosted on azure virtual machines option c uptime of the virtual machine service option d updating hypervisor and the correct answer is option b security of data hosted on azure virtual machines explanation the security of the data hosted on the azure virtual machines all of the other aspects are the responsibility of azure next question a company wants to configure a set of azure virtual machines an application will be installed on these virtual machines the company wants to ensure that user traffic is distributed across the virtual machines you decide to use the azure hd insight service for traffic distribution would this fulfill the requirement option a yes option b no and the correct answer is option b no explanation no Azure HD Insight is a managed full spectrum open source analytics service in the cloud for enterprises. You have to leverage Azure Load Balancer in this case. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ 900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.